Hi everybody, I'm Philip Duncan. Thanks very much for joining us. Well, the weather forecast at the moment is looking a little bit cool, especially in the South Island, but Christmas Day is looking pretty hot. We'll get there in a moment. First of all, let's start with this coldest southerly blowing through. Southland and coastal Otago are the coldest places today in the country as a result of that southerly coming straight in. But many other areas are still fairly mild with the winds blowing in from the westerly quarter. So this is how we look as we get into Wednesday. Look at this high pressure comes back into the South Island. So there goes your southerly. Will be a little bit cold when you wake up but a pretty hot day comes after that. The southerly now, now blows further into the North Island, so Wellington, Wider Upper, Hawke's Bay, Gisborne, all those areas are getting it on Wednesday. It'll be mostly sunny further north, north, perhaps a little period of cloud and maybe a couple of showers first thing, but as the day goes on, it'll be a pretty dry day. Maybe a bit of a breeze blowing through, and I've said this before, it acts like a little bit like a reverse nor'wester, so it can be fairly hot and dry in places like Waikato when you've got a south to southeast wind blowing. Then we get to Thursday, those winds really start to fade away in the North Island, maybe a lingering shower around Mahia Peninsula or Gisborne area, otherwise looks fairly dry with those winds fading. Now here comes the next cold front, this is moving into the South Island, a bit of rain for the West Coast, a colder southerly for the Southerners, won't be very much in the way of rain though for Southland and also won't be quite as cold, not as cold as the one you've got today that's for sure. Now we get to Friday and it's not really dramatic to end the week, in fact the summer solstice, their first official day of summer on the astronomical calendar, that kicks off, could be a couple of downpours around the North Island, maybe one around the Nelson Ranges, otherwise your Friday looks pretty settled. Now to Saturday and again those downpours popping up through inland areas, they're quite possible on Saturday, some of them could be quite heavy through the central part of the North Island. And then you go further south, a little bit of rain popping up around Fiordland and also the chance of an afternoon downpour on the coastal side of Otago. All right, Christmas Eve, it looks like this. Those downpours in the North Island, they continue. We're going to be seeing more of them around the central area. Maybe some coastal places will get a downpour. It might just drift further out here across Wided Upper, caught up in this westerly flow that is building around the South Island. And that takes us to Christmas Day. And here we are for Christmas Day. Now this forecast is good and bad news. It sort of depends on who you are and what you're looking for. But we'll start off with perhaps what most people might see as negative news, and that's rain coming into the west coast. So there could be rain setting in with heavy falls as well. Now that could be good news for some farmers, but for many others, perhaps not the best forecast. The winds will be a little bit breezy on the eastern side. That's a bonus if you like the warmth, because places like Canterbury, uh, Marlborough, and Hawke's Bay, are all likely to get into the 30s on Christmas Day. We're talking about you know, into the low 30s for up here in the northern parts. So it'll be a hot one for eastern areas. Won't be quite so hot further down here around Dunedin. Your airflow is actually only coming out of the Southern Ocean and going around in a circle. So it'll be a little bit cloudier and gloomier there by the looks of it. And the further north you are, pretty, pretty much the more humid it will be as well. This, this airflow coming down over the North Island coming out of the subtropics. So Christmas Day looks like a mixture of downpours, cloud, bit of patchy rain, but also plenty of dry and hot weather as well. And possibly more of that dry hot weather will be in more of the tourist areas, the more populated areas around the North Island there, although uh, the Upper South Island also looking pretty hot and dry. We'll update the Christmas Day forecast again for you tomorrow. <laughs>